Hi, welcome to my channel, Takayaki Tarot. Today... Oh boy. Today is November 8th, Friday, 2024. So before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone and that's okay if they resonate with you it gives you clarity great if it does not then don't force it to be your story <sighs> it's confusion <laughs> all right oh, so i put like whipped cream in my coffee so All right. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to try and make this reading as quick as I possibly can. Alright. I'll get a couple of these. One or two of those. And then I'll close it off with another We got the Eight of Pentacles upright, which is good. But we got this card here. Page of Cups, that's hiding. Hmm. Somebody is hiding their feelings for you. It could be like they're afraid of these feelings. Or afraid of how big their feelings are. I do feel like somebody wants to work on this with you all right there could be a slight a gap age gap this person could be older than you or you could be older than this person but I feel like it's the um, the person it's like they have a big emotions big feelings for you but they're like i feel like they were trying to hide from those feelings and emotions and trying to hide the feelings and emotions right i also feel like this person they want to offer you something like they want to give you like love or they want to work on this love with you but i do feel like for some of you this person feels like um, you may not be interested, like you may be too busy doing whatever you're doing, like you're too focused on your life, your job, your projects, your hobbies. I'm also getting that it's like every time this person like opens their mouth, it's like, um, they can never say the right thing when it comes to like their feelings and emotions towards you. It's like the words just don't come out the right way. 
And I feel like this person just gets frustrated and then they just go back to hiding. It's like they just, they don't, I don't know. Like they don't, I feel like this person, they don't even know what these feelings and emotions are. And that could be a reason why they're like, it's like they're getting tongue tied. So either this person is younger than you or, or you're younger than this person. Or it's about, like, this is something new to them. This is, like, a new thing to them. So they could be, like, new when it comes to, like, the matters of love. And you're not, it's not, like, it's just not, you've been in love before, right? It could be like that. So you kind of just know, like, okay, well, when you just, when, when you make up your mind, just, you know. But I feel like. I keep getting this. Whether or not this person tells you, you're just going to keep on doing whatever it is that you're doing. But this is something like new to this person. All right. You could have, you could be somebody that has like ancient wisdom or like, you like know things that either like you shouldn't know or like, it's, it's like the things that you know, it's like, it raises eyebrows because how do you know that? It's like that. That's a whole, that's like on a sideline, right? That's like a side note for you. I'm going to get like two more and then I'll switch the decks, grab some other cards, and then I'll probably close it out with some tarot again. What the hell? I didn't even see that card fly out. We got the lovers upright and it kept flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping. We got the lovers. Wow, two of cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I told you. This person, they want to like, they have feelings and emotions for you. They want to be with you. They want a union with you. They want a partnership with you. They want love with you. They want this, they want this with you. And you know they want this with you. And they know they want this with you. But they're hiding it. And you know they're hiding it. Right? They're hiding it. They're keeping it. It's, it's new to them. It's overwhelming to them. It's like, but... I feel like if it's not about the age gap, it's about the level of experience, right? Like maybe this was like a player all their life and they never really felt like, bless you! Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. They never felt like they had to like settle down or whatever the case it is. And then they come around you and then, you know, they're like, wow, the collective is the one. And you're like, yeah, well, you know, make up your mind. Like, when you decide, when you stop hiding, when you want to stop hiding, you let me know. We got the Knight of Wands behind that. So this definitely could have been a player. Or, like, they just never really took, like, the idea or, like, the love serious. They, like, they never took it serious. But the Knight of Wands is upright. So it's kind of like... I don't know, it's like, I keep getting like a spinning arrow. It's like, it's pointing, whatever spinning arrow that is inside of them, it's pointing to you. And look, this Page of Cups has a heart on his chest. He's got a heart. And then we've got the lovers right here. And then we got the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This person's like focused on you. But there's a reason why you're not paying attention. Like I said, it's because you know of this, but it's like, well, I'm not chasing, right? <laughs> I don't chase, I replace. I saw this, uh, there's like this one video, it's like um, by Blame It On Quay. It's so funny. But yeah, you could be uh, an empress, because an empress doesn't chase, they attract. So you're just going to sit on your throne and wait and do your own thing and... 
be comfortable and look pretty and whatever. And if this person wants to come towards you, they're going to come towards you. If they don't, they don't. But you're not getting up off your throne to chase after this person. You're not going to do that because you don't do that. Because you're an empress. An empress for what? Right? I'm not going to chase you down so you can tell me how you feel about me. For what? Those are your feelings. I'm not going to be like... Right? <laughs> Alright. But this person, this person does have feelings and emotions for you, and I do feel like um, if it's not about like an whole, like an age gap thing, like this person could be older than you, for some of you, or you could be older than this person. But it's it's really about like it's just something. Um, this person could also be feeling inexperienced in matters of love. All right. What the heck? You gotta give me a second. Hold on. Alright. I'll get one more. And then I'm gonna um, switch the decks. The Fool Reverse. Hmm. So we got Gemini and Aries energy here. So this person wants to communicate with you. They definitely want to communicate with you, but they are hiding something about themselves, right? They're hiding something. It could be about themselves. It could be something that they have to communicate with you. I picked this up kind of like in a reading recently where it was talking about how there was like a person who um, they needed to tell you something, but they were taking their time with it. They're going to wait until like you fell in love or you like have something established with each other and then they're going to tell you what they need to tell you. All right, it's kind of giving like this. Um, this person could be a Gemini. This person could be an Aries. You could be a Gemini. You could be an Aries. But I feel like whatever is going down, you're just focused on whatever it is that you're focused on. Like, it's kind of like you can peep this from the corner of your eyes. You know what's going down. But you could be like a divine empress or a divine emperor, right? And you could just like, I feel like, I mean, you could be an emperor and you're an empress energy too, I guess, right? But. I do feel like you're like you're peeping this from the corner of your eye and you're just like letting it unfold as it unfolds right because it's kind of like God's not telling you to chase down this man or woman just to tell you to get them to tell you how they feel no whatever they want to communicate with you whether it's their feelings towards you whether it is whatever they have to tell you about themselves it'll happen when it happens if it happens simple as that right it'll it'll happen when it happens if it happens and if it happens then you know it's supposed to happen and when it happens it's supposed to happen at that time do you get it all right so it's all like a, a waiting game but that's it yeah I do feel like this person there's something about them feeling inexperienced in something that's why they're like afraid to they they they're they're seeing this as like a risk right because of how inexperienced they feel or how new it is to them right or you could be older than this person or they could be older than you right maybe they feel like you're the one that's inexperienced but i, I don't feel like that's really relevant i just feel like there's something that this person needs to communicate to you about themselves right with that first house i am yeah it's i mean this person they love you they want to be with you they have emotions and feelings for you and they want to start something new right they want to give you like i feel like to this person too it doesn't matter how long you've known this person for some of you you could have known this person for like um five ten twenty years maybe six months whatever but there's something about this person that every time they see you it's like it's like touched by the very first time it's like that it's like every time they see you it's like they're seeing you for the very first time it could be why the page of cups is there as well Whew. all right let me get a couple of these and then i'm gonna move on i want to make this short short and simple short short and simple Short and simple. Also, listen, I read all the comments, right? But here's the thing. Some of you guys be commenting some dumb stuff, and I'm not going to approve it because 
<laughs> you guys get offended over people on the internet that don't even know you personally. That's insane to me. So uh, I only approve the comments on my channel that I like. So that's it and that's all. False person. False person came out. Hmm. Proverbs 23 9. Do not speak in the hearing of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of your words. Hmm. I don't. I feel like people don't like how smart you are. You know how I was just saying how. There's something about, like, your wisdom is ancient. You have, like, ancient wisdom. Like, you just know things that people, like, it raises eyebrows. Where people are just like, how, how would you know that? How do you know that? Would you hear that, right? Things like that. People, people don't like how smart you are, how intuitive you are. It makes people feel some type of way. So you, you... <laughs> I'm not like I, I don't know I would just say just be cautious of what you say around to who because it's definitely it, it definitely makes people feel some type of way like very um like spooked it makes people feel spooked and scared do not speak in the hearing of a fool for he will despise the wisdom of your words for some of you when you talk it's like you're like indirectly telling people about themselves and you may not even realize that you may not even mean it or it's just the way you talk it like there's something about like when you when you speak right so words are when you speak and it's like what vibrations right so you must already be vibrating at a higher vibration right so now the sounds that come out of your mouth right that's hitting people on a vibrational level where it makes them feel some type of way right so and it just spooks people right you could also like speak with authority Um, I'm very curious about this false person. You could be somebody that's very isolated or you, um, this could be by choice. Like you just be focusing on like whatever it is that you're focused on. And some people could, um, think that you're a fake person because you don't want to be with the in crowd or that's the whole, that's like, that's like on the sideline. That doesn't even really matter to be honest with you. But it could also be because you're not chasing this person. So it's kind of like if you really cared about me, you would chase me down and force me to tell you how I feel about you. No. If you want to tell me, you'll tell me. When you tell me, if you tell me, that's it. Right? But it's, it's really about like you standing on your power, you having your boundaries, you being as smart as you are, you being as intuitive as you are, you being like you can peep what's going on from the corner of your eye, but you're smart enough to know like, Listen, if you want to open your mouth and tell me, then you go ahead. You can you can tell me, but I'm not going to force you to tell me anything. I'm not going to force you to do anything. I'm not I'm not going to do it. Right? So, this person or these people could have made it seem like or it could have been also too that like people were telling this person that like if they if you collectively really cared about this person, you would be doing XYZ and like acting out of character to get their attention and doing this and wow they really don't care because you know when when my guy cared about me or when my guy wanted my attention he would do xyz or when my girl wanted my attention she would do xyz and blah 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 and you know she really does not care or he really does not care and it's just like no it's just i'm not gonna be forcing anybody to do anything that they don't want to do if they're not ready to do it like that's not there's no reason for that right but I do feel like this person definitely has to communicate to you. They have to tell you something about themselves, right? It could be the feelings that they have about themselves. It could also be um, there was like a false person around this person trying to like get them to have, make them think that you were the false person. That's a whole stupid thing, but whatever.
it's so annoying when people feel like you have to act out a character and do X, Y, Z and be all hooting and hollering for someone to like, if you're not hooting and hollering, acting crazy and doing this and stalking and watching and spying and this and that, then you must not care about me. Like that's. It's the theatrics, right? You, they want the drama. They want the theatrics. They, they want a show. And you're not giving them the show because it's like, I got, I got stuff to do. I got things to learn, right? I'm, I'm occupado. I don't have time for this. So either you tell me what you got to tell me or you don't. But I still got to do what I got to do. Dancing with the devil. So this person could tell you there's something about what they're doing. It could be like they have like addictions or habits. Um, it could. It could even be like um, the people that they hang around. This person's like jumbled up on the inside. Yeah, this person is like jumbled up on the inside. So this person, they're doing devilish things, right? So it would be like, they would be... I would say, if the devil card and tarot were to come out, I would say it would come out on the fence. Right? Because they're not exactly the devil in reverse. Like, they haven't detached from whatever it is that they had to detach from. They have to detach from. But they're also not exactly upright. So they're not, like, deep, deep in there. But they're close enough to where they're kind of, like, dancing around. Right? They're kind of just, like, they're next to the devil. Right? They're right there. I feel like you can sense this about this person. Right? There's something very, like, toxic here. I'll get one more. Oh, man. It's confusion. Yeah. This person's so confused, man. They believe in demons, not angels. They are dancing with the devil. They believe in demons, not angels. I feel like it did come out reverse. So... And the double card in my head is on the fence, right? So it's like this person, they're just, and they're jumbled on the inside. So whoever this person is, they're having like an identity crisis or they're trying to find themselves or trying to find their faith or like either they lost their faith or like they're trying to find faith. I feel like this person they don't really have much faith in anything like they don't <laughs> she's in she's in the background singing her alphabets she's so cute they don't yeah i feel like this person they're just lost oh uh, like when it comes to themselves when it comes to their faith and you could probably sense that in this person that they're kind of lost. Like they have these feelings and emotions for you. They want to be with you. They want to work with you. But it's kind of like they don't really know who they are. They don't have 
they're lacking something and you can feel it right this is why this is not really like a loss for you right if if here's the thing um how do i say this without being mean like if this person comes towards you and they tell you how they feel blah blah blah, okay great then you guys can make it work make it work do something about that whatever right but if they're not going to then you've already got a lot of things to do anyways all right so if this person could feel like you're the false person because you're not being theatrical and dramatic about chasing them down and it could be in their mind they could be the kind of person that unless you're chasing them down and being theatric and being dramatic then you must not be their person you must not have these feelings and you know it's like it must not be real this person's very jumbled up on the inside this person needs to work on their connection with God they really do because they're on the fence and the fact that they believe in demons and not angels it's very like it's there's something sad about that too yeah it's there's they i don't know there's just a lot about themselves that they're not like it's not i don't know like You guys are going to have to figure this out, so I'll get like two of these, and then I'll, uh, I'll go back to tarot, and then I'll close it in tarot. I don't, I also, I also feel like the things that they have to communicate, or like they should communicate to you about themselves, is just like, it's like, how, how can you communicate with me about yourself if you can't even be honest about yourself to you? Like, you know things about this person that they don't even know about themselves, right? And things like that, that's what raises eyebrows. That's, it, it makes people question, like, it makes, it scares people. It spooks people. Because you know things about people that they don't even, they haven't even scratched their surface or discovered yet or even, like, thought it was a thing. And here you are, you're just pulling it from the depths within them. And, like, it's on a, you're, like, this is here. That's yours. And they're like, where'd it come from? Oh, my God. And you're like, I pulled it from you. That, that's, that's from you. It. It came from you and that scares people right especially if it's things that they don't want to see if it's things that they were suppressing or things that they forgot about right it, it, right so will I see you again this person wants to see you again I feel like you you're not really interested in seeing this person like it's not really like you can survive if you didn't see this person again, you'll survive. Right? That's what I'm getting. Like you're you'll you'll be I. I do feel like if you end up seeing this person again, it's not going to be the way they are envisioning you seeing them. Right? Like if you see this person in person, you'll just like a head nod or like you'll just walk on by or just like How's it going? Right? It's very curt. Very short. But I feel like you're definitely on this person's mind. Right? Because they want to... They're questioning. Am I going to see you again? When am I going to see you again? Can I see you again? They're not going to tell you anything though. They don't know what to tell you. They don't know how to tell you this. I, that's what I'm, like this person is like tongue-tied. Also, I do feel like for a lot of you, um, this person's um, throat chakra could be getting attacked. And that has to do a lot with the things that they're doing on their end. Like by dancing with the devil, being on the fence, not working on their connection with God. Um, not really delving into like the reasons why they are the way they are. Or like asking themselves, who am I? Right? So it's kind of like, you're not, this person's not doing the work. They're not working on their connection. They're on the fence with the devil. So, of course, the things that they're, they they want to say, they want to express, it's not going to come out because the devil is not going to let them talk. The devil is not going to let them express themselves. The devil is not going to... It's just not going to happen. 
And I don't. And I feel like you're. You understand this. You know this. But until they make the decision to walk away from the devil, to to work on their connection with God, to ask themselves those relevant, hard hitting questions, right? They're not gonna be able. Like you, you're in front of me. But are, what are you saying? Open your mouth. You can't say anything, right? So why are you in front of me? Why are you wasting my time? Why are you? You're in my way. That's essentially what's gonna happen. You're too busy working. You're doing what you got to do. And this person, you're you're standing in front of me for what? Are you going to say something? Are you going to, like, what's going on? They can't say anything. And it's, it's, they don't know how to. They can't communicate. They can't express. They can't. And a lot of it, they don't even know what to say or how to start talking. Right? It's like, talk. They don't know how to start off talking. They don't know what to say. I somehow trust you. I want to be different. I want to make it up to you. I want to be strong like you. I've never met someone like you. You mean more to me than you think. You're all I've ever wanted. But here, like you know this person feels these things and are going through these things and are experiencing these things, right? They know they are too. But it's the they can't it's it's that communication right with the um with the fool in reverse this person could feel like if they open their mouth and start talking like it's going to like i, I don't know like backfire on them or something yeah i feel like it's it's there's so much that this person needs to tell you and that they would like to tell you, but they, they they can't. They don't know how to communicate this. They don't know how to tell you this. They don't even know how to tell themselves what they need to tell themselves. They don't even... It's just... And that's why, to you, you're just like, all right, well, there's no point in chasing this. Because if you chase this person and you get them in front of you, tell me how you feel. They're still not going to be able to tell you. So that's why you know, like, there's no point in me chasing you because if I were to chase you down, are you, there is, are you so, are you going to tell me? No, you're not. So you could end up chasing this person forever. And that's not what an empress does. An empress doesn't chase. <laughs> I don't chase, I replace. I keep hearing that. But, um, yeah, if this person wants to tell you, they'll tell you if they tell you when they tell you. All right. Let me get a couple tarot cards, and then I'm going to close the reading. It's not like you're being mean or anything. It's just there's a lot that this person needs to work out with themselves. And you kind of like can't really get in the, in the middle of that. Because there is no place for you with the issues that they have to solve with themselves. Alright? Now, if those issues that they have with themselves make them act physically out. Like make them act out physically because of those then that's a whole different thing but internally there's nothing that you can like do with this person or like these are things that they have to figure out themselves all right i also feel like this person believes in more darkness than there is light in the world and that's very sad right it, that's just very pessimistic right like oh power reverse fell out I don't know I, I feel like you guys might it, it might be best for you to this could be a Scorpio so this could be a, a karmic Scorpio karmic Aries karmic Gemini or you are a Gemini Aries Scorpio but um I feel like for a lot of you I don't know this person might not change or like whatever they ha these whatever they want to communicate to you they might not ever communicate it to you and like I said like if that's the case and that's okay because you're gonna survive you're, you'll be fine you'll be all right right God has other people for you other God has a right the moon you're just 
chock full of secrets, my friend. You just be knowing things. You just know. You also, the thing about you is that you know the demons that people be swimming with. I think I said this in yesterday's reading. That you can see all the demons in the water. Baby, there's a shark in the water. I caught them barking at the moon. That I be soon. That's a great song. It's by, it's by Vivi Brown. But yeah. It's so funny because there's demons right there. And then there's like that moon. So yeah, you know... Um, you just be knowing what demons people be having, right? And you know, you can see it, but I feel like the demons within this person, they're, they're demons, it, they're, it's not going to allow them to communicate what they want to communicate so badly to you. It's because of their demons, because of the, the inner spiritual war that they're going through within themselves, right? It, it could be habits, it could be the company that they keep it could be childhood trauma it could be their mindset their beliefs whatever it is you see them you know them and you know you're smart enough to know that until that gets taken care of or handled or it's under control you're, you're not going to be able to tell me what you really want to tell me and i'm not going to chase you down because even if i chase you down before you're ready nothing's going to come out your mouth so i'm wasting my time i'm not going to be wasting my time doing this when I could be in my Eight of Pentacles doing other things that's more conducive towards my energy. And that sounds really mean, but that's just the way it is, right? And I feel like this person could be seeing you as a false person because you're not giving them the theatrics or the dramatics or the show, right? You're not proving to this person that, you know, you really care about them and this, this, and that, and right? And it, it could also be like the the demons and then this and this person that's like instigating like oh collector doesn't care about you collector doesn't right it, it's it could literally just be their ego telling them this well if the collective really liked you like if he really loved you then he would do this and do that and if she really loved you she would do it but that's very toxic that's very like destructive and chaotic it's not really healthy right now, don't get me wrong, in the beginning it might be flattery, it might be like, oh my gosh, wow, haha, <laughs> right, like, but that's not healthy, that's not, I don't know, but, right, everybody likes a little bit of drama every now and then, right, why do you, why do you be like, I watch Korean dramas, right, because it's the thrill, it's the dramatic, the theatrics of it, right, but to actually be in that energy that's not exactly like you could do so many other things with your time and energy than right than this putting on a show the chariot reverse fell out that's cancer Somebody could be getting arrested. It could be this person that's getting arrested. But I, I feel like it's something more than that. It's something different. It's not exactly that. It's like... I feel like... Spiritually, this person is being held back. Eight of Swords reverse. On the bottom of the deck. Yeah. I feel like this person is like being chained. by their ego by the demons by because like i said they're like dancing with the devil they're on the fence this person is being held back spiritually and because they're being spiritually held back that's affecting them out here and the biggest thing that's affecting them with it's being able to communicate how they feel right their feelings their emotions it could be also with themselves and also being in balance and in tune with themselves right not just you but th with themselves it's like this person yeah they're like being restrained it's like they have shackles on them or something that's not going to change until this person makes the necessary decisions in their life that they need to 
And that's not going to change until this person starts asking themselves the hard-hitting, relevant questions that they need to start asking themselves. Because you already know. You pulled it from deep within them and showed them, here, this is you. And they're like, no, no, that's not, no, no. And you're like, all right, well, you can... Right? So until they're willing to see it themselves and do something about it, that's a whole different thing. Nothing's going to change. So, with that being said, now you know, all right, this is a reading, hope it helps.